Happy Wednesday, everybody. Oh, yes, you are amazing. What a glorious Wednesday it is. For one, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot, seen here having her prostate checked, <laughs> became Chicago's first incumbent mayor in 40 years to lose re-election. Congrats, Lori. <laughs> She deserves it because she broke another glass ceiling. She was the first black lesbian mayor of Chicago, but now she's the worst mayor ever. <laughs> Which sadly means no black lesbian mayors for a while in Chicago. Way to ruin it for them, Nero. <laughs> she got roughly 17% of the vote. So even if her fan base from the Cook County Jail population, all 5,700 of them voted, still wasn't enough. Losing the former head of Chicago Public School, Paul Vallis, and Cook County Commissioner Brandon Johnson. They took 34 and 20 percent of the vote, respectively, and will now head to a runoff on to determine the next mayor. That was boring. <laughs> it was. I should have just cut all that out. We don't care about those numbers. My fault. But now, th now this is supposedly good news. But why is it news at all? It shouldn't be news when the worst mayor in the country loses. This should be expected, but it wasn't. Why is that? Well, it's, be it's news that she lost, despite having more protection than a Fort Knox full of condoms. <laughs> Lightfoot was a historical first, of course, first black female lesbian Chicago mayor. Perhaps also a garden gnome, a woodland nymph, a magical imp, a ghost of Christmas past, Medusa. But because of that, the media cut her more slack than a tailor on meth. But as we found out, you can't just run a city into the ground and then accuse people of racism and misogyny once those people find out you suck, which is exactly what she did after she lost, blamed it on the voters for being racist. When a reporter asked if she'd been treated unfairly, she answered, quote, I'm a black woman in America, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. Racist, sexist, homophobes gave her a chance to be mayor, but only once. <laughs> so now she chalks up her loss to fictitious white supremacists. She's like a masculine version of Jussie Smollett. <laughs> Did I get that reversed? Of course, her loss is a win for Chicago and a lesson for everyone else in politics. So are you listening? Eric Adams, Karen Bass, London Breed, Muriel Bowser, Ted Wheeler, Jacob Fry. Maybe voters in a deep blue city finally said this experiment with dangerous infantile lefties is finally over. And ticking boxes only creates more boxes, except we call them coffins. True, if you're a progressive and want to set some records while in office, make sure it isn't for number of murders. Under her, the city's homicide rate rose to its highest numbers in 25 years, they haven't seen that many slaughters since Michael Jordan was thin. The city saw 695 murders in 2022 and 804 in 2021. So I did some math. At that pace, if Lori got elected for four more years, at the end of her second term, Chicago's population would be the same as Gilligan's Island. <laughs> right now, if you're a kid in Chicago, you're just as likely to go outside and catch a bullet as you are a cold. Anyway, here's her concession speech. We fought the right fights, and we put this city on a better path. I'm grateful that we worked together to re remove a record number of guns off our streets, reduced homicides, and started making real progress on public safety. So she reduced murders under her watch, but only after she presided over an explosion in murders <laughs> under her watch? That's like Biden saying gas costs slightly fewer arms and legs. That makes sense. Anyway, I haven't seen, I haven't seen someone that delusional since Rachel Levine tried on a two-piece. <laughs> but I'm sure she'll land on her feet. It's hard not to when you wear a size 14. <laughs> and, and a homeless guy's head. But lefties always get another job. If she's not teaching at Harvard, she'll be a spokesperson for Spirit Halloween. <laughs> of course, the bigger question is, will other Democrat mayors with cities overrun by crime take note of Lightfoot getting the boot? We do know that several Democratic mayors are finally waking up to doing something about homelessness, committing the deranged to treatment. 
Meanwhile, others are distancing themselves from the defund the police movement like it's MS-13 with monkeypox. So ironically, the woke is finally getting a wake-up call. Let's hope they don't hit the snooze button because people are tired of being dead. To put it another way, they're dead tired of incompetence being protected by diversity. And they don't want a mayor that reminds you of Beetlejuice. <laughs> Although, I'm going, I'm going to miss... I'm going to miss those hemlines for her slacks. <laughs> Further proof. I used to do that. Further proof, she steals her pants off shopping mall security guards. Let's wake her up. Tonight's guest. She talks so fast, sign language interpreters get hazard pay. <laughs> Host of the new podcast, Fox True Crime, Emily Campagna. Yeah. His marriage is like a tornado, as it ends with him losing his house. <laughs> Actor, writer, and comedian, Jamie Lissau. Her pronouns are boo and who. Fox News yeah. contributor, Kat Tim. <laughs> and when life gives him lemons, life regrets it. My massive sidekick in the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> Emily, I go to you first because you're sitting there. Um, <laughs> She kept, she kept saying, we did this and we did that in her concession speech, but it was never, there was never, I got the impression there was never a we. It was always a her, and she was always battling everybody. And remember when those emails were leaked to the press, mm -hmm. they were filled with literally dozens of abusive emails right. on her part to the staff. So you're right that her we didn't even include those that signed up, that believed in her cause, that mm -hmm. believed in this black lesbian mayor of Chicago that was going to have historical first. Instead, they gained historical statistics that ran that city into the ground. You know, I love that you brought up the boxes and the coffins because she was called a political rock star in the beginning. And she utterly failed at her job. And to me, that, that illustrates the current situation right now, which is the left props up these people that check certain boxes. Oh, they're going to be amazing. And then she absolutely abdicated her duty to keep those residents safe. And for someone that said that she is so committed to black American causes, why then were the single most affected victims of that homicide rate young African American boys? Mm -hmm. They are children slaughtered as an epidemic under her watch. And that's what the people in her city called it. You know, she said at the end, uh, I'll, I'll, we'll be remembered for what we accomplished and how hard we worked, the, the effort that we did um, on behalf of Chicagoans. And damn right, because you did nothing. You know, it's interesting and it's kind of sad and pathetic that she won the nomination for mayor with the same percentage. So it just shows you how screwed totally. up Chicago is. 70% totally. she won, 17% now she loses. Jamie, you're a person who's faced an unbelievable amount of humiliation and loss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is your advice for Lori Lightfoot, who's going through some suffering of her own? Nothing like what you went through, but I mean. Yeah, and think about the humiliation and loss just from being on this show. <laughs> nice. You know? Nice. I don't know. I think she has a... Is it possible these murderers are racist and they're only killing people because she's a black lesbian mayor? <laughs> um, <laughs> could there be less guns because you remove them when they're next to a dead body? Mm. Um... It's all crazy, and I'm, I think the um, and the other story here about like removing. By the way, numbers can't lie. I mean, that's basically the, the bottom line here. Mm -hmm. Is like I was in Chicago and I actually heard two murderers going. I don't think we can follow this next year. <laughs> um, we got to back it off. Like those numbers don't lie. This, <laughs> she's a terrible mayor. Um, but I'm also the whole getting rid of the um, committing homeless people without you know them volunteer. I think we have to start doing this. Uh, I think you can pretty easily tell who I was walking mm -hmm. today and I saw a guy doing he was doing like a three card Monty. Is mm -hmm. that what it's called? Yes. Homeless guy clearly crazy. And he was like doing a magic trick. And I was thinking like, oh, my God, that's gonna be the hardest person to capture is like a homeless mm -hmm. magician. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because EM, <laughs> do you know what I mean? like EMTs come, they put a straight jacket on him. All of a sudden I'm wearing the straight jacket. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's handcuffed. I'm handcuffed to a pole. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just, it's, it's just, it's so dangerous everywhere, man. I think homeless people, some of them could get rid of their signs. Right. Like I saw one guy today and his sign said like, need help. And I was like, you're wearing boots and I can see all 10 of your toes. I know. <laughs> 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 no. Uh, Kat, um, are you going to miss her? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she was, like, horrible. But sometimes you're so horrible that that makes you kind of awesome. Yeah. Do you remember that whole scandal because she said she had the biggest <laughs> in Chicago? Right. <laughs> That was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> and it allowed all of us to make the same jokes. Yeah, if she would have made that her slogan, Lori Lightfoot, <laughs> biggest <laughs> in Chicago. <laughs> oh You're not gonna vote with, for somebody who has a smaller yeah. So <laughs> I think that she could have won that way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I just think it's great that she's not sad. She really thinks it's racism, sexism, homophobia. Mm -hmm. That is the reason she lost, mm -hmm. which is, I think, that would be great to feel that way. Yeah. Instead of like when you lose, just think it's cause like, you know, you're not good enough, you never will be. Yeah. Um, to not have to blame anybody or blame, blame everybody but yourself. But she's right about one thing, which she said she put the city on a better path, which probably she did by losing. Yeah, that's true. Tyrus, um, is this really like a victory for people when it's basically she just lost to two other Democrats? If she were up against a Republican, the scary part is she would probably still have won. That's what fright. I, it makes yeah, me. No, no. I think, and to Kat's point, um, she did lose for being the biggest <laughs> in Chicago. <laughs> it was just being used as a pronoun yeah. as opposed to the actual <laughs> appendage. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, though, she, she lost for the same reasons that she was elected. She, the same things that she's complaining about are the same reasons why she was put in. Mm -hmm. No one ever bothered to check her resume. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you take somebody based on how they look and who they sleep with, you forget this little thing called character, mm -hmm. education, and commitment to the job, into which we saw during the entire time, because it was a soundbite every week, how she mismanaged every possible situation because she was never qualified for the job other than she filled a part and a bunch of Racist, they, it's polite racism when you want to prop somebody up in a position because they check the box knowing damn right well they're going to fail. But the, here's the thing about having someone like that in, in your office is they're a puppet. They'll do what you tell them to do. Yeah. You, pay, you pay their back taxes. You help them get in. You take care of old problems. You get rid of bad relations. You do all these things for these people with horror character that, and we know she has horrible character because we saw her track record. This isn't rocket sciences or whatever, but... Uh, so, yeah, she lost for the reason why she got put in. So, yeah, we have, she was vastly underqualified, and, and it showed. Yeah, you know what? We have to go. I know we have to go, but, like, if you we did a sec didn't we do a segment on her Yelp review? She rented a limo. It's the best. If you ever want to get an insight into her brain, she left a Yelp review for a limo company. And she was upset that the limo driver had used the bathroom. Yes. It, it, it's, one of the be it's one of the best written derangement things you will ever see. It, it's just like, it's like, it, it's, it's madness. So just Google or go to Yelp and just put her name in there and it'll pop up. It's oh, I'm sure she had an opinion on everything that didn't go her way. Yeah, exactly. It was always somebody else's fault. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.